we'll sit, we'll, I'll, I'll let you know. This is why I've never been invited to Glastonbury, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Right, we're off. Uh, I'm at the wrong conference. I should be at one called the Cold Bucket of Water Conference. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to find the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Should I shut up? People in the audience are saying, shut up, Kevin. Sorry, can you... That, I'm completely thrown. Can you start again? I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop if ever there's an announcement. Okay, we'll wait till Dan to come back. Oh, Because right. he's doing the sound. He's just told to lay off the, um, lay off the feet. Okay, he's back. He's rolled his sleeves up. I think he's punched some. <laughs> I'll assume this is the official recording. I'm at the wrong conference. I'm at the Poor Buckets of Cold Water conference. Because as you can see, I'm talking about medicine and longevity. I chose this theme because I'm very old and I take lots of medicine. But uh, um, I'm actually predicting things that will never happen. Uh, because, or perhaps they will. Um, this is what lots of us are expecting this morning. You know, bright new dawn, new regime, things can only get better. The reality is this, uh, life expectancy is worsening and kids particularly are getting poorer and sicker because of junk food and poverty. All straightforward, but that's the reality. The reality is worse where three of us at least come from, we're all, uh, if you look at any of those indicators, they're absolutely shocking. You know, people live less, they live shorter lives and they live impoverished lives, but Wirral is not alone. But just take that one, you know, that alone, 115,000 people living in those conditions. And lots of these people are working. Uh, you know, we must dispel the myth that uh, uh, people on benefits don't work. Uh, what can we expect? Uh, things won't get better because basically we have a new government that has sold its soul to private equity. They cannot do any of the things they claim uh, unless they get money from private finance. And that is an enlargement of one of the slides you've just seen. Using private medicine makes things worse. People die because of health privatization. Why is this happening? Well, a very simple reason. The NHS has been abolished. I won't go into all of those things. You can come back to them later and ask me questions about them. But, uh, they have to use suppliers now, main, many of them are American. Uh, and um, if you look at that video, uh, you'll get the URL later. If you get that video, that tells you everything. But it's quite shocking. I doubt some of you know that the NHS has been abolished. Second reason is because of what they call, ironically, fiscal responsibility. Both Tory, Labour and the Deformed Party led by a man whose name rhymes with sewage, I think, um, uh, of pursuing Frederick Engels' policy. This is what Engels said in 1845. If you deliberately introduce a policy that makes life worse for people, you are committing social murder. So we yesterday installed a government that is committed to social murder because they believe in neoliberal economics. Okay, go back to the, uh, the bullet points. Right. Uh, points one and four make me very pessimistic, but I think they're the reality. Two and three, basically the use of technology, might feel optimistic for some people. However, the things that make me pessimistic are because we're now, we have health and welfare systems that are controlled by private corporations who aren't interested in people. Uh, in fact, in parts of the world like rural, it's worse. 
and because organizations like Big Pharma uh, and American health corporations, health insurance corporations, I need to say, are not interested in you and me. They're interested in our data uh, and they're interested in uh, selling us health, not us getting it. What can you do? Uh, I'm suggesting that you read Private Eye. Every fortnight it's, it's got a good column about medicine and health. Uh, I suggest you mug up on modern monetary theory uh, because that's the alternative to the rubbish that our Rachel Reeves and our George Osborne's and all the others uh, propagate. And you do something about it uh, in order to dispel, because this was my main thesis, Margaret Thatcher was the devil incarnate. Um, you know, she told us that we're like a household and we can't exceed our spending. We can exceed our spending. They can find this magic money tree and they can max out the credit card when it's um, uh, a case of murdering lots of children in uh, Iraq or in uh, Gaza. Uh, and that's me. Whoosh. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kevin. I'll move the um, move the.